Hi, my name is Christian Heinrich and I welcome you to this virtual presentation. I am a research associate of the Peter L. Reichert Institute for Medical Informatics of the TU Braunschweig and Hanover Medical School. I will present our work, multi-camera, multi-person and real-time fall detection using long short term memory. This work was developed in collaboration with interns from the Indian Institute of Technology in Bombay. You may know about the importance of human fall detection as falls are especially at high risk for elderly people living alone and therefore are often helpless and unable to call for help once a fall occurs. Additionally, according to the World Health Organization, 28 to 35 percent of dead people older than 65 fall each year requiring medical attention. Further, there are some overall limitations with existing methods. The majority of methods use wearable sensors, ambient sensors and cameras. But they are often invasive, inaccessible or just simply expensive. However, there are plenty of approaches emerging in the field of video-based fall detection, while having an advantage with potentially cheap home cameras and the use of contextual information. Nonetheless, problems of video-based approaches are, for instance, restricted view when using a single camera, the tracking of persons and high false positive rates due to imbalance training data. With our contribution to this field of research, we aim to overcome these limitations and provide a real-time video-based fall detection algorithm with multi-camera and multi-person support. As a basis, we make use of human pose estimation in form of the open source algorithm OpenPiffPath. It is especially useful because it performs well even with low resolution images, allowing lower hardware requirements. On the bottom left, you can see an example of OpenPiffPath. It localizes key points and features of human poses, which then can be highlighted. On the bottom right, an overview of our proposed algorithm is given. The human pose estimation is the first step while analyzing videos from multiple cameras frame after frame. At its end, we achieve a list of key point sets for each camera for the next stage. The next step is to track different people in multiple cameras, which can be seen in the video example below. Each key point set of the list we achieve from the human pose estimation corresponds to a different person. If there is more than one person in one frame, we cannot differentiate which key point set corresponds to which person. Therefore, we try to map the key points using spatial Euclidean distance over several frames as distance measure. Then, we map one key point set from one camera to the one with the highest similarity in another camera to identify one person. This approach correlates to hue, saturation, value, in short, HSV color histograms. Let's come to the feature extraction from previous information of human pulse detection and the classification via long short term memory, LSTM, neural network architecture. First, five spatial and temporal features are extracted. This set of features form a feature vector Xn for each time step n. For any video frame observed and for each person detected, a feature vector along with its hidden state is fed to the LSTM network. As output, a probability vector is given, indicating the fall or no fall classification. Additionally, a stage of post-processing was implemented while observing a quite high amount of false positive fall detections within the evaluation of the proposed network. It consists of three checks. First, check if next k frames are classified as false. k depends on the frame rate. Second, check the angle between a person's body and vertical axis. Third, we compare a person's height as the distance from head to feet to the moving exponential average value. If a previously predicted fall event is rejected within this post-processing, it is relabeled as fall warning. Coming to the evaluation, you can see our proposed video-based fall detection method on the right side. Our method was trained and evaluated by using the UP fall detection dataset, which consists of videos from two cameras. This dataset contains 17 different activities. We assigned them according to our binary classification in 
either a fall or no fall event. Results are obtained by performing five falls cross validation. In the table on the right, the results are shown for the respective combination of metrics and used amount of features. The best result was obtained with all five features and a F1 score of 92.56%. Our proposed algorithm runs with rather low hardware requirements. It does not require a GPU, but can make use of it too. Another advantage is that it can distinguish between peoples from multiple non-calibrated cameras and it uses human pose information with a state-of-the-art neural network architecture. Still, there are some limitations observed. It has a trend of false positives due to imbalanced training data. The training data contains 36% videos showing faults. This is simply not realistic and contrary to its rare occurrence in real life. There is a need of more sufficient datasets for further training. In future work, we will integrate our approach in the Smart Home Living Lab at Pillar I Braunschweig. We would like to generate a large-scale multi-camera dataset and use it for further training and evaluation. With this dataset, we aim to obtain more realistic fault conditions and probabilities alongside the activities of daily living, since it is a realistic living environment, as you can see on the photos below. The diagram on the right displays the floor plan and shows the location of existing ambient sensors and video cameras in the living lab. Data from the ambient sensors are available via a CAN bus system. We will make use of sensor fusion as the data could increase the accuracy. At the end of this talk, I want to thank you for your time. Goodbye.